Coast. Yep, it is Loveline. I'm Adam Carolla. That is Dr. Drew. I'm Adam Christine Penis Carolla, by the way. Indeed you are. And that is, uh, again, Dr. Drew. Phone number 1-800-LOVE-191. Fax number 310-854-4455. Dr. Drew is a board-certified physician and addiction medicine specialist. Tonight we have John and Darren from System of a Down. I think... Uh, John, I ran into in the uh, parking lot of the uh, Arrowhead Pond, I think, about uh, six months ago. You have a very good memory. Right? Yeah. And uh, then I went to your house uh, a few months before that I was to pick up say, the corn. There's a reason the memory is so astounding. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me tell you, I, and I don't remember a lot of a lot of people on... Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He knows how to please in every detail. I know all the words now. <laughs> he can do more than you'd ever imagine and do it with style. And he does it with me. That's the next Oh, intro. yes, he does. <laughs> sure. my headphones are too loud. He, you guys should cover this one. <laughs> we have. We cover the other thing. The other thing. It's this one. Oh, you, you got coming and going? She's on fire. She told. What's wrong with you when she gets together with a daddy? Yeah. That's the one, That's we, one we do. Reels what he wants you to see and then shows it all. And when he does, he satisfies me. Uh, you're just trying to show off now. It's like a, it's like if a, you really do <laughs> just what he could do. He's on, he's on that one. Yes. Thank you. He just wants you to know how you've influenced his life. I know. I, you know, it's funny because it only took us a minute to get right to porn. To yeah. Porn music. Well, last time uh, System of a Down was on the show, we found out, and I don't know how, but we somehow <laughs> serendipitously stumbled on to the fact that Taboo 2 was one of my favorite all-time porn movies, and same with the band, right? Definitely. One of my favorite movies. Yeah. <laughs> That's a very good point. Forget porn. Forget Citizen Kane. Yep, that ain't a movie. That's a film. That that was nothing. That's right. All right, so uh, why don't you guys, I know uh, you're going into the studio, and we'll hear some uh, stuff off the System of a Down uh, CD, which is uh, currently out, but you want to talk about some website stuff. We do. We do. Oh, that's what I heard. Okay. I don't, I don't have a computer. Yeah, we, well, you you're talking to the two wrong guys. In oh, the really? We want to talk about porn. Oh, okay. okay. Dr. We Dr. just came to talk about porn. We right? do. We do have a website. It's www.systemofadown.com. Okay. And that's what you'll hear if that, you call. That's it's about all you know. Yeah. All right. And what what's going on this summer? Where where are you going out? Well, Tours, we just, things like that. We just got off a tour of the summer sanitarium with Metallica, Corn, Kid Rock, Power Man. How was that? It was awesome. Interesting. He became a member of Metallica for a little while there. Yeah, for three days. What happened? James Hetfield hurt his back, so I ended up filling in on some songs. That's oh, really? Cool. Yeah. yeah, it was pretty cool. Pretty cool. Wow. That is pretty cool. Yeah. I played um, Master Puppet, Sanitarium, and one. Is this stuff you knew already? Cause yeah, you knew, yeah. Yeah. I grew up. So, I mean, you already oh, you knew the, you, you knew the licks already. Yeah. You see, you grew up playing those songs. Is that like a dream come true then to stand up? And... Well, they were my first concert. I think that. Oh, hang on here. Something. Is this my there you go. There you go. Yeah, the first concert you went to was Metallica. <clears throat> yeah, and the cheap seats. We so just kept thinking about the guy in the cheap seats. Yeah, that was me. So now you're uh, fast forward how many years from uh, that Metallica concert? Uh, about eleven years. And now you're on stage with Metallica. Yeah, playing a song that you heard when you were in the audience in the cheap seats in front of twenty five thousand people. Pretty weird. Wow. Just because, just because James Hetfield hurt himself. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> now he hurt himself, so he could only play certain songs, or he had to sit no, out the whole out. thing. No, he was gone. Like Kid Rock came and sang one along with me. <laughs> that was pretty surreal. Yeah, our singer went up and did like a song and. They turned it into like a cool jam so that the audience wouldn't just go home disappointed. Right. Which is kind of cool. You know, you're talking about 50, 60,000 people in the audience. Yeah. They to see, of course, all the bands, but Metallica is the headliner of the show. Right. And instead of canceling, they just played 
and um, they promised to return, you know, make up the dates as soon as possible. Wow. It's pretty cool. Got to fly on their own little private jet, mm -hmm. Metallica. <laughs> Got to be a rock star oh, for a day, Oh, man. my God. Yeah. The rest of us were suffering the 20 hours. Those guys get treated like presidents, man. There's, like, presidents that don't get treated like Metallica, like police escorts well, in Kentucky that... They got a lot more money than the president. <laughs> Jesus, that's great. For, for you, no, that'd be it. like um, if uh, Barry Manilow. Barry Manilow went down. No, I was trying. I was trying to. I was trying to think of the uh, fat Jewish guy from Fiddler on the Roof, uh, Five Old uh, Finkel, Five Old yeah, yeah. Five Old Finkel Tevye. team. Tevye, you know, uh, uh, Topol, Topol, <laughs> Five Old like went down, and you had to step in and do a whole Fiddler on the Roof on Broadway. I'd be able to. A rich man. I'd also be able to cover for Mr. Rogers. I know all his theme songs. Jan. Jan. Oh, Jesus. We got a sleeper? Hello? Yeah, Jan, you're 15. What's up? Oh, it's uh, John. John. Uh, it's John? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, first of all, just move down. You guys are awesome. Thank you. And, and uh, Drew, doing yeah. great stuff. Thank you. And uh, Adam, you're God. Thank you. Adam? You're my, oh, thank, or oh, congratulations on the uh, penis award. Oh, wait a minute. Thank you. I know that's why phone screener Danielle wrote Jan. Because he said Adam, yeah, and, and when they said what's your name, he went Jan, yeah, Jan, Jan, yeah, yeah. It's probably from Boston or something. Where are you from, Jan? Chicago. Chicago, Chicago, Chicago. Better. All right, thank you. Yes, my penis uh, came out smelling like a rose last night <clears throat> after Drew, and left. there were no words. The hell are you guys talking about? Last night, uh, Drew and I had a little bet going that I didn't have any uh, venereal warts on my penis. He said the only way to find out was to dump this acetic acid on it and shine a black light on it. And uh, I told him to put his uh, money where his mouth was. He dumped the acid on my penis. We shined the light on it, and nothing. Looked like a uh, the driven snow. That's what it looked like. Uh, actually, it was clear, to me, clear to me it was a stunt pants, but nothing actually. Yeah, there isn't special that. But my little one was tucked down. He then tried to double down. Uh, anal warts. Yeah. I wanted double or nothing on the anal warts. But we wouldn't. <laughs> so what it. happened? Well, I told him that uh, finding my asshole would be like uh, trying to find uh, Santa's mouth. Why? Are you Armenian? <laughs> no, but I'm Italian, which is the next uh, hairiest race. There you go. Yeah. Santa Who's hairier? Than, who's hairier than the Armenians, Drew? The uh, Italians? No. No, no Armenians. No. Armenians are definitely the hairiest. No one is hairier. Why than do they need all that hair over there? What's going on? It's cold. Real is cold. It cold? I don't know. I haven't been there. Yeah. There, there are places that are colder than Armenia with less hairy people, right? What's up with Eskimos? Why do they have so much hair? Eskimos are bald. There you go. I mean, that's what I'm saying. It's, it's short and round. Though. That's life, man. Yeah, Eskimos are... are they just fat. They're fat Hawaiians is what they are. Jan? I mean, John? <laughs> it says Jan up there. That's why it's driving me nuts. Hey, Adam, you know who you have to have for a guest? Oh, Jesus. Who? Jenna Jameson. All right, well, Adam. she's been in here. All right, well, okay. He some flowers, and he's too scared to bring them home. All right, should I get to my uh, question? Yeah, go ahead. All right, well, my parents got divorced about, like, seven years ago. And, um, well, my mom remarried, um, like, I think four years ago. So three years after they got divorced. And then, um, well, my I live with my biological mom. And, um, well, one day I was, like, I was walking through the hallway, and I saw that my stepsister, who she's 18, she was masturbating, and I was, with, there was like a little crack in the door open, and I was just like freaking out. Dun, 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 dun. I don't know, I just like. Okay. I just can't get out of here. That's poor Kevin. You guys done? Sorry, man. All right, we're going to do. uh Ooh, baby, I wanna be, ooh, ooh, I wanna be going and coming with you, baby. I wanna be, I wanna be going. This is yeah. sort of like boogie nights. Gotta get it on, gotta get. <laughs> you gotta hear all these scenes. You still haven't seen it? No, I come on. I got to yeah, right. pride, but I haven't. John, so your your uh, your uh, stepsister was masturbating. Yeah. And and I just it's like freaks me out. Like whenever I try to masturbate, it always like goes through my head, and I just go like limp. Why? That doesn't excite you. Is she ugly? No. You're not attracted to her. No, she's ugly. Okay. Well, listen. is that why you don't like it? If she was attractive, would you be into it? 
Uh, I don't know. Maybe. I'm not sure. I don't believe me. All right. Yeah. I don't even believe no, him. I don't know what he's talking about. It goes through his head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's no 15-year-old that can't put out some negative imagery in order to masturbate. Yeah, but maybe he's looking at her as his no. attorney's on no, 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 no. Let me tell you, when I was uh, 15, you could have uh, propped my eyelids open like clockwork orange and uh, just put drops in them and then showed films of uh, Nazi death camps <laughs> in Vietnam, and I still could have squeezed one off. No <laughs> No hands. hands. No hands. <laughs> just 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 the ninja like concentration. Bobby? Hello? Ninja. You're fifteen. What's up? Hey, Adam, um, congratulations about uh the clear penis. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, I wanted to wonder, system of down it when your new album's gonna come out and if you're recording it yet. We're on our way after this to go start recording the whole thing and we'll be done. You're going tonight. Huh? <laughs> it should be done. It'll be by, done by morning. It's <laughs> about, about three, four in the morning. No, no there's there's no telling, man. There's no telling when it's gonna come out. We just got off tour with Metallica. We have some new songs, and we're gonna, you know, we're, we're gonna put it out when it's right. We put out whenever it we put out. We <laughs> feel right. All right, Bobby. Okay, I saw you at Summer Sanitarium. You were really good. Thank nice. you. Thanks. Hey, Bobby, they'll come on the show when the uh, new album comes out or just before that, and then they'll promote it, and then you'll know when it's coming out, all right? Okay. All right. Thanks. All right. Nathan. Yeah. Ooh. What's up with this mic? You're 34. Yeah. That sounds scary. Dude. Yeah. What's up, Nathan? Uh, I got a question on relationships. One of those things. Yeah. All right. Uh, good, good show to call. That's different. Go ahead. Uh, I met a. Hold on a second. Are we having difficulties tonight with our callers? Uh, I think your fuse might be short. This is, the, uh, this is a sort of average. Really? Retarded. <clears throat> is, does everyone seem like they're listening to themselves on the radio with a six second delay or just they all missing? The... They all sound like they used a fake name and forgot what the name was. Right. Okay. Don't they hear this tomorrow, though? Oh, okay. Some, some places. Correct. But if if these callers were a sprocket, they'd be missing a few teeth. Yes. You know, is, you kind of getting that feeling? Mm -hmm. All right, let's see if we can pick it up. Nathan? Here we go, buddy. Hey. Uh, I met a girl about two and a half years ago. Uh, when I met her, I knew within days that I'd be dating her. It was one of those love at first sight. Um, and in three days, I was dating her. The only problem was is she was married. Uh, I dated her for about two years. Right. And, and ended about six months, eight months ago. So you, did, you married her, you dated her for two years while she was married? While she was married. I see. <laughs> I work for a group that has both single women and married women in it. What? You're in a group that has single and married mm -hmm. women in it? AA. What kind of group? Uh, I don't want to name the group because probably people know me. Well, what kind of group? It's it's a group to get together to do things on the weekends. Is it church? No, it has nothing to do with church. No, it's, 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 it's a loser group, right? <laughs> Anyone who has to join a group to find stuff to do on the weekend is in a lot of trouble. Well, it's a social group. I'll put it that way. Okay. Um, Trekkie. <laughs> you guys. And then. What, seriously, do you have a Trekkie? Are you a Trekkie? No, I'm not a Trekkie. Do you have a Star Trek outfit? You better turn this mic off. I can't do All right. All right, so Nathan, what, what's your question then? My question is, is there something psychological with me, with other people, because I've noticed other guys in the group that are also attracted to married women and turned down single women. Are we just a sick group of people or? Well, first of all, the married women do not carry the same sort of problems of commitment that the single would. You know that the other one's already tied up. And so if you're dating a married woman, it's just going to be for sort of superficial purposes. Every time you get together, you're going to have sex, and you're not going to have to worry about buying her jewelry. The other thing is... You that can't buy married woman jewelry. That's, that's the great part. That's right. Well, if you can't possibly. No. You come home with it on and get busted. The other thing is the marketplace is totally efficient, meaning to say that stuff that's worthwhile being married, you know what I'm saying? No, keep saying it. Uh, it, it. I know what you're saying, but I want you to make it clear to the stoned listeners. That eligible people who want to get married, get married. Right. And so there, there may be summer pickings in your age group. 
Right. So meaning if, if there's a chick who's floating around is 33 and single, there may be a reason right. she's single, and maybe that reason is why you're not attracted to her either, and there may be a reason why the other one got snatched up, mm -hmm. so to speak, and that's why you're interested in, interested in her. Right. All right, but see if you can stick with the uh, single ones. Of course, of course. Sarah. Hi. All right, bail us out of this. Okay. I'm 19. Okay, I'm having a bit of, well, it's not a problem, but i, I got a feeling tomorrow morning it will be a problem. Uh, I call my doctor. I, I go through, like, these really bad mood things. I get, like, really super really depressed. And I called him. I wasn't able to sleep. He gave me Ambien. I've been on it before, but he took me off of it. He said he took me off of it because, you know, you're not supposed to be on it longer than, like, 15 days. Right. I was dependent on it. And anyway, he gave it to me, and I just took it, like, a couple hours ago, and I was listening to your show, like, the one where it was Adam's penis, and you guys had the black light and everything. Right, the penis show. Yeah, and I'm having these hallucinations, like, as I'm, like, looking around, things are coming up, and I, I just don't really quite get it. I'm falling around my room, just laughing. You got more? Where do you live, honey? Easy pickings, Jen. <laughs> <laughs> I just, like, oh, it's this one. <laughs> you know, but I'm scared because he's going to take it off. He's going to take me off of it eventually, I'm sure. Hold on a second. Why, is it chicks are, why are chicks such lightweights, Drew? I've taken those Ambien. First off, I don't even bother taking one without washing it down a couple Bloody Marys. And then I sit on the plane. I can barely fall asleep. I get up. I take a leak in the sink. I mean, in the <laughs> toilet of the plane. I walk right off and do a radio show. I don't have any problems. She, she takes an Ambien. She's uh, all over the place. Oh. Why are chicks such lightweights? Is, there, is it just that they're lighter? They're, yeah, lower, lower volume distribution. Yeah, but we oh. all know some some scrawny 135 pound guy who can put away a 12 pack and still ride his motorcycle home me. without any problem. <laughs> That's right. Alcohol me, man. Alcohol, alcohol me. Males, it turns out, are resistant to the intoxicating effects of alcohol. Alcoholic males yeah. are? Yeah. Oh. Well, sons of alcoholic fathers, meaning alcoholics. That'd be a good group to join. Sons of alcoholic fathers? Yeah, like the daughters of the American Revolution. Sons of Italy. Sons of alcoholic Isn't fathers. Boy Scouts started? We meet down at the uh, Buffalo Hall every every third Sunday. All right, anyway, so she's she, screwed up. She shouldn't be taking this. She's been addicted to it once before. Look I want to talk to her a little And she's a mood disturbance. Sarah? Yeah? Where are you calling from? I'm calling from um, Illinois. Mm hmm So, um, w were you hallucinating about my penis? Oh, actually, it wasn't. It was. It was weird. It was, Not that effed up. These deformation things were coming out of the radio because you know, like, I have an equalizer and it goes up and down as you talk. Yeah. There, I don't know. It's, it was very, very uh, weird. Let me tell you something about equalizer. You know what the equalizer equals? White trash. Remember those equalizers from the 70s? Everyone had an equalizer. I don't know. I was tell I was saying to someone the other day, why is it we decided we don't need those anymore? Remember, you guys were a little car. bit young, but You're it was really car. important to get an equalizer, probably about 78, 79. Yeah, so so important that you had them in your car. You were just in the, the treble and the reverb and the balance, and it has all these slides on it. didn't really amount to too much, and there's lights everywhere. Yeah, you're not getting the worst anymore. sound ever. Right, because Always. you did it yourself. <laughs> All right, so what should you and why can't you? You, you can take these. Uh, hold on, how long can you take these uh, ambience? You shouldn't take them more than about a week or so. Is that every night? You mean? Yeah, with the after you get addicted. I don't take them every night. But I'll tell you what, she, she needs her mood disturbance treated. That's a more important issue, and she needs an evaluation possible for addiction because that might be what's going on here. Is this Karsha? Yes. You're 19. Yes. You're on with System of a Down. <laughs> yeah, well, hi, you guys. I think your guys' songs are cool, so. <laughs> Thank you. Gee. <laughs> yeah, I was. Are you guys still there? Yeah, no, we left. Oh, <laughs> uh, no. What? <sighs> What's up tonight, Spazzo? Huh? <laughs> Why is it Spaz night it tonight? Spaz night. I think it's us. Super Spaz. It's got to be, you guys. Hey, uh, Super Spazzo? Uh, okay. What's your question? Huh? Oh. Okay, I was taking these for orthotest seconds, right? Huh? Yeah, yeah. And they, um, there you go. I was getting side effects from them. So I started taking some more of them, right? Well, I had sex with um, somebody. Yeah. And, um. An auctioneer? Are you jogging right now? No, I'm talking. Oh. Okay. She's typing with her mouth. 
<laughs> Mine's one of the kind of commercial they used to say. We'll talk real quickly. I'm going to have to slow this down and listen to it later just so I can find out what you're saying. Yeah, the guy used to do the Alaskan Airline commercial. Exactly. Talk lower. All right, go ahead there, Carson. You're doing fine. Okay. Okay. Let me try to talk slower. Well, Why are you talking slower? Or to try cycling, too. Right, uh, don't talk so slowly. It spooks the dog. <laughs> <laughs> okay, can you hear me now? Yes. Okay, I'll fix the try cycling pills. Right. And then I start taking this one called Lostrin. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, turn your radio down, you screwball. All right, hey, let's just cut our losses. Let's go home. Right now. We'll play, uh, I'll tell you what, to be fair to uh, System of a Down. We'll play our whole album. Play, yeah. we'll, we'll, <laughs> what we'll, we'll do, I'll do one better. We'll play the whole album. That'll get us into the 11 o'clock hour. And then <clears throat> we'll just play an hour's worth of your last appearance. There you go. There you go. People won't know the difference. Done and done, right? Fellas, what do you say? Um, yeah. All you right. could always go cool. pick up Taboo 3 right now, too. Oh, <laughs> yeah. See, that was a great movie because uh, not only was the guy banging his sister, but he was banging his mom, too. Oh. See? He's got it all. That's what that means. When they say, hey, when they say about a guy, he has it all. And they incorporated, what more could the guy want? They also incorporated rock and roll into the third movie. Oh, they did? Oh, yeah. Oh, that, it, I, I don't know any of the themes from that. I do know the uh, going and coming song, and he has it all, and then the, uh, what's the title of the other one we were we were singing? Fun. The one we were singing a few minutes ago. Well, I don't know if it has a title. title. It just has a riff. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fat riff, though. All right, we're going to uh, take a little walk down the memory lane with Taboo 2 and the boys here, and uh, then we'll come back. Karsha, you turn down your radio, kill your dog, and uh, sequester yourself in the closet and uh, stuff towels under the crack of the door, and we'll talk to you when we come back. Oh. Hey. Bloodline, I'm Adam Carolla. That is Dr. Drew. John and Darren are both here from System of a Down. We're going to, uh, well, here's something off their CD, I think. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can't get through to uh, Karsha over here first, and then we'll uh, hear System of, of a Down. So, Karsha? <laughs> Karsha, you're, you're 19? Am I 19? Uh, oh, God. What happened? Hello? Hey, hello? Uh, it never ends. What's your name? What's your name? Let me answer Karsha's question before we get on the random here. What happened to Karsha was saying she was on trilevulin or tri triphasal and then switched over to low estrogen. And then she's concerned because she didn't get her period. But low estrogen is a very low dose estrogen pill. And one of the things that happens with that is no period. So it's just the pill change. All right. She unfortunately couldn't hear that because her step came with the beating of the table man. leg the entire time. Ken? Hi. Can you 23? What's up? How you doing? Good. Who's the guest today? System of a Down. System of a Down? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I'm telling you, it is weirdo night tonight. And it's not even like an angry, aggressive night. And it's not even necessarily like stone night. It's like ether night. I can't help but feel it's our fault somehow. But they don't, they didn't, he didn't know you were the guest. Yeah, but you know how uh, he was interested. You know how vibes work. Right. All right, Ken. Yeah, I was just asking to be nice. All right, brother, ask your question. Okay, well, I have a problem. Uh, when I first meet a girl and and we start having sex and stuff, I, I don't last too incredibly long during sex. And I was wondering if there's anything I can do to, like, after a while, I get you know. Oops, excuse my language. Just out of curiosity, what would too incredibly long be? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Five minutes for the most part. Oh, too incredibly long. Do you use or condoms? Not too incredibly long. Pardon me? Do you use condoms? No, no, no. If I try that. On a medical longer, yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah, so why don't you put a condom on and then you can add a few minutes to your game. Well, they, uh, usually I do, but it's a lot nicer to not use them. <laughs> do you have an ugly stepsister? <laughs> yeah, if you saw your ugly stepsister <laughs> masturbating, you could add a few minutes to it. Ken, don't you perceive any potential uh, danger in that with you, condom? <laughs> I guess you got your answer there, Drew. Well, thanks. Hey, uh, Ken? Yeah? You do what I do. You get that uh, poster of the Hey Vern guy, you put it up on the ceiling, and you <laughs> stare at it real hard. And now that he died, I've added another ten minutes <laughs> on to my lovemaking. All right. Well, uh, hey, great. Hey, Ken, here's what you need to do, seriously. You find one woman, you have a relationship, and you kind of work it out. Because, listen, all these questions guys ask, we haven't talked about this in a little while, 
women have this, but guys, I think, really have this. You all have that one chick you worked things out with, you figured it out. You tried the different positions, you walked around, you went to the kitchen naked together. Do you know what I mean, that one chick? And it's not necessarily your first girlfriend. And it's not necessarily, it, 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 it could happen at 23, it could happen at 16, it could happen at 28. But usually, every guy has that one girl, he gets to do all the different positions, and he gets to work his stuff out, and he gets his confidence. And then once he moves on from her, he now has his confidence. He, he knows he can perform. He knows all the positions. He's comfortable. His mojo girl. His mojo girl. Now, thank you, Drew. If you just go from one chick to the next chick and have a series of sort of short, awkward relationships or one-night stands or drunken encounters, you never get to work it out. No mojo. No mojo. Although, if you do work out the mojo chick, then you can have a life full of awkward one-night stands that do work out because you found your balance in mojo, as Drew says. So, I think this guy needs to just find some chick and work it out. Maybe they wouldn't be one-night stands if you could last more than two minutes. That's a uh, very valid point, John. Casey or Cassie? Cassie? You're 16. Yes. What's up? I just wanted to say, sister, move down. I love you guys. You're great. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, anyways, like, when I have sex... I don't know what to say to that. When you have sex, yes. When I have sex, I can't get wet. And I was wondering if it was because I was molested. Yeah, I could have something to do with it. Could it? How old were you when that happened? Uh, 18 months old. Oh, my God. What happened? I remember it. How do you know it happened? Because my mom told me. Oh, what what are you? 18 you? months old? What do you do? Uh, you know... How do you molest an 18-month-old, by the way? I mean, what's... You know, I didn't you know think I mean? stuff like that happened. I don't know. My oh, It was my... <laughs> really? 18 months? Oh, 18 months is a little young. Who was it? It was my grandpa. That's terrible. What did he do? Um, I don't know. Like, I didn't want to ask my mom about it, because he molested her, too. Well, why did she tell you if you didn't... Oh. I don't... Sometimes people... Are... All right, hold on. Yeah. We got we got have a little powwow here. Sometimes people that were molested uh, see molestation <laughs> in everything. Yeah. Maybe Grandpa was just changing her diaper. Yeah. Um, okay, first off, let me ask a hypothetical question. I'll ask you, Drew. Would you rather be molested at 18 months or 7, age 7? 18 months. I'd rather go 18 months, too. But isn't there, like, damage that could happen to a girl that's that young that may not necessarily happen at 7? Like uh, physiological damage? Mm -hmm. That's an interesting point. I don't know, but... Provided there was no physical damage, I'd rather have it. I'd look at it as anything, any kind of surgery, whatever. I'd rather have it before than after. And by the way, then if Grandpa molested Mom, what the hell was uh, Grandpa doing with uh, Cassie? With Cassie? Huh? And if he did really molest you and she wasn't projecting this, why would she tell you? That's why you know what I mean. Why? Why? She took me to the doctor. Like afterwards, and there's like documented proof that he molested me. Like, I guess, I don't know, I don't know what it is, but like she told me because she didn't talk to my grandpa for like 15 years after that, she didn't talk to my grandpa or grandma mm. because she never told anyone that he molested her, mm. and like she it, she brought it out after he molested me. Mm. So, like, they all stopped talking to her, and recently my grandmother called and she wants to get back in our life because she divorced my grandpa. So, my mom decided <laughs> to tell me about it because she knew that it might come out like some other way if she didn't tell me. Okay. Do you have a boyfriend? Um, not really. And, uh, where's your dad? Um, you know, I couldn't tell you. Uh, I think he's in Tucson. All right. Oh, yeah, I'm sure your mother married a real piece of work after, uh, what, uh, dad had done to her. Yeah. Yeah, he was probably a real world-class a-hole. Yeah. All right, so, Cassie, nothing physically is wrong with you, though, right? N not, I don't think so. Why don't you try waiting to have sex with someone you care about? Okay. I know it sounds novel, but... Have you tried toys? No. <laughs> try, try caring about a toy. Okay. Yeah, listen, I I don't know that what he did to you uh, is going to dry you up, but you thinking about it when you're with a guy might do it. Yeah. You, yeah. Know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So now the fact that it's entered your mind and your mom has planted that seed, mm -hmm. that may be a factor now. Okay. So Just I don't think, know. I don't know how you can't think about it though. Think uh, not naughty thoughts. Think naughty thoughts. Yeah, at the time. And and take it slow because uh, you're uh, you're prime candidate to be pregnant by uh, sixteen and a half. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You acting out yet? Um, I don't think so. Mm. You having sex with a lot of guys? No. 
Oh, it's only with two guys. Okay, at the same time? Okay, oh, that's fine. All right. Only take, two guys tonight. Take it slow and use protection, all right? Yeah. And And you can use some lubrication. Okay. And this will sort its uh, way out, all right? Thanks. All right. All right. Well, I don't know. What do you do when someone's not lubricated? And listen, girls, you're different at, uh, at 25 than you are at 16. A lot of girls really aren't, uh, as I found out in high school, aren't too much into sex at uh, 16. Maybe the guys she's with don't really know what they're doing and they're not getting her... That, that, is a, that is a very, very strong possibility. Yeah, it's probably some uh, 16-year-old guy going, You want another thumbing? <laughs> <laughs> you don't mind if I eat while I'm thumbing you, do you? I just got off work. Keep the wrestling on. Yeah. I like to, I like to eat a TV dinner, watch some wrestling, while I'll give you a nice thumbing. All right, we will hear something from uh, System of a Down. You queued up there, Anderson? Yes. This one's called Sugar. <laughs> That'd be system of a down. There's a lot of tonight. people here at the studio. Oh, yeah. Thank you, thank They're you. Very thank vocal. You. Thank Sugar's you. the name of that one off of uh, System of a Down. We'll uh, hear something else from them in the 11 o'clock hour. I guess it's about time to take ourselves a break. Uh, I just want to talk to Eric real quick before we go for a break. Eric? Yeah. You're 20? I'm 20. You have big nipples? Uh, first of all, I'd like to say about it does. Oh, yeah, it is up there. It is. For, uh, like, That's Armenian? Yeah. Huh? It's something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it means uh, pass the razor. Secret code. <laughs> Second one, I'd like to say, uh, and I'm third down of... with that, too. <laughs> <laughs> I said I'm down with that, too. Hell yeah. For those who understand. Yeah, you know what's always funny about uh, when people speak the same language? They get really into it. And I think it's really cool, too. Like, um... Uh, a conversational breakout in a different like language porn. between two people. The language of porn. Yeah, except for I think to myself, I don't like talking to people that much, even in my native tongue. You know what I mean? It wouldn't be that exciting. You, you know what? How could it be so exciting? How could it be so talk exciting to, to talk to someone? Yeah, something that we we relate with each other because there's so few of us in the world. You know, yeah. someone. Where are you from again? There's a lot in Glendale, though, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's where I'm. That is Armenia. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, hell yeah. Glendale, Burbank's all the same. Uh, I used to follow you guys when you were back in Pilibos. You go wrong. Cool. All right. What, 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 I want to talk about your nipples for a second. Okay. Yeah. Um, when I was about 14, 15, I had, like, really hard nipples. And I went to the doctor. He said that, you know, it's puberty. You're going to go through that. And ever since that, it just swelled up <laughs> really soft and really big. And it's really annoying. What do you mean big? Big, like, uh, big, like round, circle, big. Which part is big? Oh, the, the areola, the part around the nipple? Everything. Everything. The whole nipple. Like, like a female type breast. Slow down. You're turning me on. What? Are we talking about a quarter or a silver dollar pancake? Talking about maybe half a dollar. Nice. And, but with, with the swelling behind it? Yeah, with the swelling. Do you, Do you have the usual Armenian hair around it, too? Not at all. Oh, yeah. See, if you had the usual Armenian hair, you could just do a nipple comb over like a lot of Armenian guys. <laughs> You'll see a lot of Armenian guys at the beach with what they call the... Uh, Chest wig. M-N-C-O. The N-C-O, yeah. Nipple uh, comb over. Natural wig, a natural uh, sweater. Do you smoke a lot of pot? Um, used to. That's what, that's what does this. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, but, but you have to I'm have... okay, man. You have to have some natural... <laughs> thing. Yeah, you start that, but it, 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 right? it keeps it going. All right. We're going to... Uh, so what should he do? Nothing to do. Stop throwing a pot. And nothing else? And you can get plastic surgery? Yeah, but if, you, if you're if you a guy and you have a huge uh, frisbee-sized <laughs> nipple, you have to smoke weed just to deal with the pain. Is you he overweight? Just Are you pain. overweight? Oh, that's fine. Huh? I'm but, actually underweight. Yeah. Really? There's not a lot of fat Armenian guys. Are fat. There? Oh, yeah, there are. Oh, there are? I'm just not one of them. We're eaters. Okay. All right. So you're saying that I can't do anything about this? Plastic surgery, stop smoking pot. Those are your choices. Uh, stop a long time ago. All right. All right. All right. I think you're good. Listen, women will love you anyway. Uh, I know that. Okay. Not that much. <laughs> I like those Armenian delis. I used to go to one uh, when I lived in uh, La Crescenta. You, you, like, you like the smell of curry? I like all that weird food, you know. And I like uh, the, the Armenians. Do they drink a lot of uh, beverages that are, are yogurt-based? There's one, yeah. There's a lot one of vodka based. Soft ton. There's a couple, a couple of different There's a few different. cultures that have the yogurt based soft drinks, which I always find a little bit bizarre. And the people that always go, I always question a guy, what's that yogurt stuff? And they go, 
Oh, it is good. It is. Uh, it tastes. Uh, it's like uh, vinegar and lemon. You like it? No, uh, no, 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 no. No. Wait, wait a minute. Yes, it's, it's very good. Though. Yes, you like it's very good. It goes well with certain foods. I mean, you're not gonna oh. eat it or drink it with. It sounds like it's still up on the counter. <laughs> Try it. It's very good. Salt. Yeah, There's salt in it. it. It's very salty and uh, it tastes like lemon. Well, yeah. That's what, what does that remind you of? It's very salty. It tastes like lemon. All right, we're gonna take ourselves a little break. <laughs> we'll come down and see here. We'll explore the Armenian culture uh, and further detail when we come back. Same price. Yep. Same price. It is Love Line. Just talking Armenian food with the system of a down. We have Probably. John and <laughs> Sharon Pose here. Salve unique, man. Salve Donis. Hey, I know there's a lot of people who are weirded out by that kind of food, but it's really solid. You get all that uh, hummus Healthy, and that baba Healthy. ganoush and uh, all that uh, chicken, everything, uh, everything's over an open flame. It'll make your nipples grow real big. Yeah, yeah, it's solid. And then you get uh, frisbee size. Then you get the <laughs> pancakes. Some of that uh, that baklava. Oh, that's solid dessert. Mm -hmm. That is good taste in dessert. That baklava. And then you wash it all down with some yogurt. <laughs> <laughs> Mohammed, what's up? You're 17. Hey man, um, first of all, since I'm done, y'all rock, man. I love you guys. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Cool. Dr. Drew, I don't know how the hell you do it, man, but you're a saint, dog. You're like, yes, that thing. I don't know how you do it. You're so freaking nice and helping out all those guys. That's my heart. And, uh, Anais? Yeah. On them, uh, the penis test. My dad walked in when uh, I was listening on that, and, uh, we had to fight to keep the radio on. <laughs> test. Yeah. You, you had to fight with your dad? Basically. Uh oh. Hey, listen, that that should be considered uh, education for the viewers of the listeners yeah, of this show. Yeah, that's of it, certainly. Thirty-six years I've had this penis attached to me. And no, you've not. It's it is scot free. Not You're right. I didn't have it for the first five years. My mom kept it to manage uh, <laughs> under the house. That's, but that's the nickname. But the court uh, awarded my penis back to me when I was uh, six years old. You got to fight for your rights. Since then, it's been with me. All right, Muhammad, what's your question? I um first of all I've got a question for Susan Move Down. Um I got this thing going on so um my friend he doesn't know where the hell Armenia is and we've been in the one of the band one members. He said that one of the band members is actually an Arab, a Middle Eastern or a Muslim. So I want you guys to confirm that. Is that true or not? False. False, all right, good. Got five dollars today. Hey, I, I hope we get ten percent of that. Uh, you guys, of course, man. The music business, man. <laughs> you got that five dollars going to break down in like twenty five cents. <laughs> yeah, By the time done. we're done with you, <laughs> <laughs> management, everyone. Uh, where is Armenia, by the way? It's between. I know where. It's, I just know where it's not. Where yeah, there's is it not. Where is well, it that, what I mean is everywhere there's, else. There's certain <laughs> countries I know where they're not. Well, they just don't know where they it's are. Not in the Middle uh, East. It's not in Australia. On Canada, right? I know it's not. It's anymore. not in the United States. I know it's not in Canada. I know it's not. Well, now we're getting around Africa, no. right? It doesn't it connect. Eastern Europe. Yeah. All right. I'm trying to picture uh, the continents in my head. All right. So it's between what and what? It's sandwiched between Russia and Turkey. And Turkey, unfortunately. One of such an idiot. Interesting things about Armenia is that uh, a lot of focus on the slaughters of the Second World War, but very little, for some reason, awareness of what happened to the Armenians. So we're, still, we're still basically profiting from that area. And until... Well, uh, there, there was millions of Armenian killed. Yeah, well, the Turkish half. government doesn't recognize it, though. That's the difference. Are. Like, Germans recognize what they did, and the Turkish people don't. Oh, well, not people, but the government doesn't. Mohammed? Yeah, and, uh, all right, Dr. Drew, I got a question for you, man. Yeah. All right, um, personally, I don't think my penis is that bad of a size. I think it's normal for my age. But I saw this, <coughs> what, is there exercises that can be made to actually increase the size by, like, up to 40%. Where'd you see that? 40%? Do you want me to tell you the website? Oh, a website? Yeah, it's a website that, um, it also, it's like, you can buy, it's, you can buy a book through it, and it tells you, like, Bunch of exercises that can help grow your penis. Adam, this is the new business yeah. for you. Jump up and down. That's the number one exercise. Hey, well, well, I'm an anvil for yeah. Probably an exercise in futility. Yeah, it's not going to work. All right, cool. And uh, your, your penis is okay anyway, though, right? Not bad. You're black, right? No. Are you not? <laughs> Boy, you sure sound black. Uh, dude, like, okay, my skin is white, but I'm African. Okay, so you're like South African? No, I'm North African. I'm from Libya. Wow. Wow. That's well, a real uh, melting pot we got going tonight. Yeah. All right, I'm getting confused. 
I'm going back to North Hollywood. <laughs> That'll confuse you even more now. It will now, yeah. Okay, y'all doing All right, Mohammed. One more question, please. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Right, or whoever you pray to. What's up? I, um, I'm... What do you guys believe in? The Armenians. Generally, it's Christian. Generally, what we, have, we have our own beliefs. Okay. Hey, uh, Muhammad, go ahead, real fast. Hey, um, I want to know the pros and cons of smoking pot. Um, I never tried it, but I'm thinking about trying it. Like when I go out to Idaho to visit my brother. So, well, and they don't, they don't got the good stuff in Idaho. I'll you, tell you that. You'll fit right in in Idaho, Muhammad. <laughs> in Idaho. <laughs> uh, listen, it uh, it makes your nipples the size of a saucer. <laughs> Yeah, you'll be fine. <laughs> Listen, any, anybody who hasn't smoked pot by 17 is okay with me. Fine, go ahead. Smoke your brains out in Idaho. You, you know what I'm saying? Mm. He's, he'll be fine. Let's talk to uh, Shavo. Hey. Hello. Shavo? Shavo. There you go. <laughs> I got nipples the size of silver dollars, dude. Hey, let's talk about your balls, Shavo. They're pretty big. You got balloons? Do you have balloons? I got some balloons for you. You got some balloons? Hey, Shavo, does one hang down lower than the other? Actually, the left one does. Yeah. Something's wrong with his testicles? Yeah, I've got that, too. It'll keep getting worse as you get older. Drew experienced it firsthand, right? By the way, this is our bass player. Yes. Sorry, Shava. No, it's not the bass player. There's a different Shava. Oh, yeah, because that's such a common name. <laughs> <laughs> My mistake. This is Shavarsh. <laughs> what are you guys doing? We're kicking it, man. What do you mean? What are we doing? I love the calls, bro. I love We're misguided adults helping misguided teenagers. 18-month-old molestation, uh... Charges. I didn't understand that. You like that one? I didn't get it. I, it was it was bunk. It was you, didn't, real. you didn't believe her? Eighteen months. Come on. Yeah, it's possible. Well, she said her dad, uh, her grandpa did it to her mom before then, so we had a history of it. Yeah, I don't believe it. But listen, let's focus on your balls, Shavo. <laughs> hey, one half of the elephant right there. Four months. Oh boy, four months. The elephant. Shavo, how's your penis doing though? Uh, right now, it's uh, doing pretty good. Just chilling. Okay, why why didn't you come down here tonight? I'm feeling under the weather. I see. Yeah. All right. You want to talk to Doctor Drew? Uh, Doctor Drew, how are you feeling? I'm fine. <laughs> I thought... He's a doctor. You Drew, can you go over there and give him a vapor rub after the show? A vapor? <laughs> yeah. You know. <laughs> Is that what they do? A vape. Is that what you no, do? No, yogurt rub. Okay. <laughs> No, I, I get the feeling Shava's going to get some of his own yogurt cure. It's hey. pretty cool that you called since we never talked during the day. No. I call him radio show. Hey. I talked to him for four days now. Oh, my God. You're breaking my heart, Shava. Oh, hey, have you enjoyed Tabba too? Yes, extensively. As a matter of fact, I have... Uh, hold on a second, Shava, because we got to take a break, but... Uh, I, I think I got two copies from you, right, John? Yeah. And I actually have one upstairs in the VCR and one downstairs in the VCR. And I'm thinking about doing an elaborate system of mirrors so I can whack off in the stairwell on the way up. You know what have I'm saying? Have you seen the commercial with the, like, 500 TVs of the guys watching soccer? Right. Hook it up. We can get you the Sony discount. All right. I'm going to uh, talk to the boys about the Sony discount during the break. When we come back, we'll speak to uh, Teresa, who's 15. A boyfriend told her if she sucks her boobs, they'll grow. If he so oh, if he does. Good. Well, uh, oh, oh, I, I'd, I'd substitute penis for that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back. Yep, it is Loveline. I'm Adam Carolla. He is Dr. Drew over there. Phone number 1-800-LOVE-191. System of a Down is our guest tonight. We have John and Darren in here from the band. We will uh, hear something else off of their uh, CD entitled System of a Down. And we'll speak to uh, Teresa, who's... Uh, oh, Shavo wanted to say bye, by the way. Oh, Shavo, hold on a second, Teresa. Shavo. Hey. Hey. Um, I've been on the longest hold ever. Is it Shavo or Shavo? Shavo with a V. Shavo. It's like Taibo. No. Shavo. All right. Shavo, bye. Guys. All right. Bye, Shavo. <laughs> bye, Shavo. <laughs> not coming in. <laughs> <laughs> Teresa? Via satellite, Shavo. Teresa? Yes. You're 15. What's up? Um, yes, I want... <laughs> not coming in. Oh, system of a down. You guys rude. Thank um, you very much. Um, another thing, um, yes, I was with my boyfriend the other day at the movies, and then, um, he started touching me, and then, uh, and I was getting really into it, and then, since my, are a bit small, like, he tells me maybe if I suck them, they'll grow. 
and I don't know if he was saying in the wrong way. Maybe he was just into the mood. I don't know. Yeah. He was into it, whatever he could get into. It, is he a doctor? No, <laughs> a no, no. Surgeon? Nothing like that. Research. Oh, it's not Re an endocrine research. He's 18 years old, no. How old are you? I'm 15. I see. He's 18, huh? Yes. What, little, huh? what does he do? 15 will get you 20. <laughs> what does he do? Um, no, he just he just graduated from high school. I see. Yes, I don't yeah. know, but I, it gets me mad when he says things like that. It gets you mad? Do you, Why? Have, do you have small nipples? Mm, let me check. Hold on. Why does it make you mad, Teresa? You've never seen your nipples before? <laughs> yeah, but Why, Why does it make you mad? I don't know. Like, he just does just little comments like that. Is he not happy with with you, the way you are? No, he just wants he just wants to screw all the time. Yeah, that's right. And, yeah. and that's not what you want, so hold out. Just don't. <laughs> he's manipulating you. He wants to get whatever he can get. Just that's where he's at. Are you that's real? Are you having sex you're... with him? No, no. All right. All right. I, him. I told him only when I'm married. All right. Oh, be careful. This guy's this guy's uh, working every possible angle. Okay. All he's right. got a good line though. Yeah, he's lying, lying, lying. Okay. Yep. Yep. I told a woman once I'd uh, suck the fat right out of her ass. But she didn't. <laughs> she didn't buy that. All right, Teresa. Thank you. All right. Uh, listen, everyone. When you're 15 and you hook up with an 18-year-old, especially when that 18-year-old's a guy, he's got a little. There's a little agenda difference. Difference there. As an 18-year-old guy, you're looking to get some, and uh, you're especially not, from a younger, vulnerable girl. You're not waiting to get married, Sally. Yeah. You're 18. What's up? Okay. Hi. Um, I love you guys a lot. Thanks. Yeah. Um, I love Sister Mother Down. Hi, guys. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Um. Okay. Are you in the toilet? What? Where are you calling from? Um, cave. You're where? The back cave. Sorry. <laughs> I never did get an answer. Yeah. Where were you? My no. bathtub. Your bathtub. You're in the tub. Right. I can't wake my parents. Sorry. That's kind of cool, actually. Yeah. You're calling from the bathtub. I like that. Yeah, me too. There's no water in the tub, right? No. She's lying oh, down. Okay, the tub. well then that made it never. All right. Okay, guys. Um, I have a confession to make. You made up your question. Yeah. Okay. It's really important what I have to ask you. Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna we're on pins and needles. Well, okay. There's this guy, and okay, I'm not really 18. I'm 17. <laughs> and um, there's this guy, and I'm like in love with him. Wow. And he lives like. Like seven hours away from me. He was like in Arizona or something. Wow. Is, is that seven hours when you're walking or is that in a car? It's in a car. I see. And um, I just, I'm obsessed with him and I've been obsessed with him for like two years. Yeah. And I just, it's like cutting into like my social life. I'm like, I don't like like guys my own age. Wow. Who is this guy? Huh? Who is this guy? Oh, this guy that I was friends with. Oh, I see. Well, that's totally different. It's that guy. Okay. <laughs> I thought only guys did this to themselves. You know? Yeah, and he got obsessed about people that yeah. couldn't handle right. him far away. How old is he? He's um like four years older than me. Yeah. Why didn't you get together with him when you were around him? Um, because I didn't like him when I was around him. Okay, baby. You got problems. No. Oh yes. Yes. Why didn't you like him when you were around him? Like I thought he was like annoying, like around. Yeah, but he will be annoying now that you're around him too. Yeah, it's gonna take you five minutes to be annoyed by him. What? Would you shut up when I'm talking, please? <laughs> Jesus Christ. If I were in there, I'd run the shower on you. Sober you up. Yeah. Now, listen. You were around the guy. You didn't like him. Yeah. So why are you so obsessed with him now? I don't know. Okay. The, the, question, the, the point is, is you're not. It's not real. If you spent any real time with the guy, you'd be right back to feeling the way you were when you spent time with him the first time, which is annoyed. It's not about him. It's about obsession. Right. Okay. Meaning, if he lived next door to you, you wouldn't be into it. I don't know. No. You hung out with him for how long? Um, like two years. <laughs> two years and nothing happened. Yeah. Okay, now you're obsessed with him? Yeah. And hold on a second. A guy would never do this. Do you know what I mean? There's no way a guy would hang out with a chick for two years, be annoyed by her, not into her at all, then have her move halfway across the country and really be obsessed. I don't even think this is for real. No, I think it is. Well, she means it. Yeah, I think it is. Because she sounds like I an idiot. That feeling. Yeah, I get that feeling. Yeah. Sally? Okay, listen, you have to start participating in uh, life, life in your hometown, all right? Are you there? Yeah. Okay? 
And well, that's what's missing. You got to start taking care of yourself. If if, you, if your start, life starts filling up, you know, the sessions will start dropping out. Yeah. Or at least let the guy know. Uh, he's a pain in the ass. She doesn't, she doesn't like him. All right. Let me say, Sally. Yes. What if you called the guy and told him how you felt? I don't know. Do you think I was thinking about it? Should I? Well, do you think he likes you? I don't know. Well, why didn't anything happen? I mean, he didn't make a move on you in those two years? Not really. There's an easy way for you to find out if he likes you. Yeah. Ask him. Ask him? Simple. Okay. Then you can stop obs obsessing over him. Yeah. All right. All right. All right, Sally. Good luck. Thanks. All right. Oh, boy. Well, uh, she's not going anywhere. Medication, right? She medication. She does? Mm -hmm. You guys got to get new uh, sticky paper. <laughs> Josh? Mm -hmm. Hello? Josh, you're uh, 17. Yeah, I just wanted to say hey, hi to System of a Down. What's hi. up? Hey, you guys like freaking rock. Thank you very much. Adam and um, Andrew, you yeah. guys are like freaking bad. Really good. Thank you. Yeah, I just wanted to ask System of a Down a question. Sure. When you guys play, like, how do you guys get all that energy, man? You guys are like freaking like crazy. Let me, let, me, let me just add, do you remember when we sat backstage at one of their concerts? Uh, yeah. Yes, and watched them uh, scream and play their brains out for a, a good hour. That was uh, in a parking lot. Oh, oh yeah. I, yeah. I had a headache just walking across the parking lot listening. <laughs> so we're behind them. Insane. Insane. <laughs> no, well, That's going to make but, everybody go by. I'm, I, I'm, <laughs> an old, I'm an old man. You know, Sam, it's a compliment. That, yeah, exactly. It's a high compliment. By the way, what's up with the cops in Pasadena? They need to relax. Yep. I never did get a chance to comment on that. That wasn't in Pasadena. Yeah, it was. It was like uh, Arcadia or Arcadia something. Arcadia. Oh, wherever it was, it they, was were, they were rough, man. They were not very cool to the fans. Yeah, they pulled up on their horses. But, you know, to be fair to uh, them, you guys, you guys played for a solid hour, didn't you? So we're, we were asked to. Sorry, kind of. Yeah. All right. Hey, Josh. What was the question? Oh, I just wanted to, like, ask, like, how do you get all that energy when you guys play, man? Oh, uh, that's... They, they 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 love their work. What do you want them to say? <laughs> we save it up all day long and we just explode at night. We really don't do anything. All I can vouch for me and Darren. We do almost nothing all day long. And then for that one hour, we just let it all loose. Well, Roger. Yeah. Okay. Um. That's all I wanted to ask. Though. All right. Good night. Cool. Hey, bye. You know, we need to move to some calls here. Is the problem? Is that we're, what it we're is? We're languishing with these people. All right. You're all right. right. Here we go. Alyssa. Hello? You're 14? Yeah. Thanks for calling. Call again. <laughs> <laughs> so you talking about? I think I got her. Uh, she's only on the air for four seconds. <laughs> Alyssa, what's going on? Okay, I went to the Summer Sanitarium Tour on Saturday, and you guys are really great. I love you. Thank you. Okay. Um, <laughs> we're getting good at this simultaneously. There were a lot of people there that were smoking marijuana around us, and I'm on probation, actually, at the time, and they're drug testing me. What do you have probation for? Uh, grand theft. I was in bed with money. Wow. And you're 14. Yeah. From home. <laughs> okay, I had taken my grandma's credit card, and I racked up probably about $27,000 on it. Oh, my God. What did you buy besides that concert ticket to System of a Dance? <laughs> Um, just like clothes, and I got some drugs and stuff too, and that's part of the reason why I'm being drug tested. Do right. drug dealers take credit cards now? Or? Uh, no, I'd go to an ATM machine at Costco and like use it, and all you have to do is type in the credit card number and your address and stuff, and they'll give you cash. <laughs> now millions of people know this. Right, everyone can rate their grandma. <laughs> Great. Okay, um, my question is: there were a lot of people that were smoking marijuana around me, and I was breathing it in. And I was wondering no. if no, open my pee. No. Well, now wait a minute. Were yeah. you like, were you like, inviting them under a blanket and then, you know, for, were you guys in a big uh, trash bag? Yeah. No, it was no. the people around me that were just like it was all going back on me, and I could like definitely it was a really thick smell, and I could smell it a lot. Did you get high? Uh, no, not really. I mean, I started to feel like a little dizzy, but no. I wasn't like higher. That's because you were again. Yeah. <sighs> it wasn't a hot box. It's in there, but um, yeah, we'll figure that. Uh, no, you're all right. Lie. So you didn't smoke any. No, I didn't. Okay, Don't worry. then you're fine. And why did it take uh, them so long to catch up to you? I mean, twenty-seven grand. Uh, well, it's because I was kind of like taking the bills and keeping them from her so that she couldn't find them. I see. It racked up probably about three months, and she has really good credit, or she did. Had. Oh yeah, right, right. So that's what happened with that. All right, you two must be very close. Uh, not anymore, actually. It was a complicated situation. Uh, I don't live with her anymore. She fled the state after that happened when I went to juvenile hall. She fled? Why? This is a book. Oh, she fled the state. Why? Um, because, I don't know, she just got really depressed. And at like, one point while I was in juvenile hall, she tried to kill herself. Oh, my God. And she's now in Utah. 
and that's not very cool. Hey, but listen, when old people leave, it's called moving. It's not called fleeing the state. She just totally took up her stuff and left. I mean, she didn't even take like her bed or anything. She just packed up her clothes. She moved. She, had, she, she moved, moved though. She relocated. Did she have Fleeing a bed the or did you jack that too? Fleeing the state implies. No, she bought the bed. <laughs> <Did you> buy... <laughs> Fleeing the state implies running away from the law. Oh, yeah, but she was just like, she didn't, they were supposed to take video statements of her and, you know, what she had to say about the whole situation, and she wouldn't even do that. She probably didn't want to get you in more trouble than you were in, but oh, she's wow. your grandmother and she loves you. That's probably true, but oh, that's all right. great. I have never lived with for 12 and a half years. I've never even known my mother. All mm -hmm. right, well, that's why you're a sociopath. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> but don't take it out on your poor grandma just because you have no conscience. You know what I'm saying? Well, I do have a conscience. I just, I just figured that since I was kind of like the the only beneficiary, that I could just kind of like take the jacker. It. Right. All right. That's, that's not, that is not a conscience. <laughs> yeah. Listen, a conscience means you take into account. <laughs> well, other, I knew what it was, it was like. Uh, well, okay. other people's feelings. All right. Can you do that? I felt bad about it. Yeah, because you got. Yeah, out. you sound like you feel bad. I don't have any kids for a while, right? Yeah. Okay. Good. About 30 years. Yeah. Listen, this is what happens. When your parents crap on you, you, you just crap on the world. The world becomes your, your kitty box. You know well, what I'm saying? If you, yeah, if you aren't given what you need to develop, the world, you never connect with the world. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Yeah, but even, even your own grandma just looks like a, a big cash register. But that's you. the point. There's no empathy. You, the other people don't really exist. That's you can't so really, right. You can't really acknowledge their feelings. Right, they just exist to sort of serve you. To serve you. That's what sociopathy is. Chris, I'll yeah, to get into this. Could I start it? Is a religion? You got a little touch of it. Thank you, Chris. Hey, you're 14. Yeah, I should have a couple questions for System of the Down. Welcome to the Adam Show, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and ask the band a question. As long as uh, I'm woven into it somehow, like what do I think of the band, something like that. Uh, well, I think you'll want to know the answer to this question. All right. Uh, how did you guys get like started? Because I'm thinking about, we're like trying to start a band, my friends and I, but all we have is like a drummer and me, and I play like nothing. So. I'm sure that you can find other musicians. We'll try to find like a uh, instrument and <laughs> learn how to play it, and that's like step one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. How dare you? How dare you dash <laughs> his his plans? <laughs> he plays nothing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm disappointed. The piss. He's disappointed. Can you sing? Angry. Can you sing? I sing and I write songs. Okay, right. then just pursue it with everything that you've got and don't give up. What, what, uh, have you written some songs? Can you sing us one of them? I can't sing them because she's on fire. You don't have any music yet. Cause... Yeah, but if you're a good singer, you sing a cappella. No, you're saying he's written words. No, yeah. No music. I... Do you have a band? Um. He has a drummer. Yeah, I have, I have me and a drummer. What's a song that you like by another band? Just what? Like... Um, I don't know. You you don't have any uh, favorite song right now? Hmm. Rolls, but I can't really sing that because my throat doesn't like. What song do you like? Sugar. All right, we'll sing it. I can't because my throat doesn't like. Come on, I'm not. Let's sing a song you can sing. <laughs> Come on. Song I'm trying to hear. Yeah, sing sing a standard, a ballad. If I was a rich man. Ba da ba da ba da. Come on. Highway run. You know what I'm saying? Yelled and sing, but. Oh, you do more, yeah. So, all right. So you don't sing and you don't play an instrument, but you're you're pissed <laughs> off that the, the band isn't working out. It's working because my like my other friends are like taking like guitar lessons and stuff. Okay. Well, how old are you guys? Fourteen. Yeah. Well, well it's fourteen. I was yeah, like playing in a garage in front of like you know nobody, man. Like you know, just take it, take your time. Yeah. Well, just enjoy it. You know, that's what it's there for. We, we didn't we didn't right. get this band together until I was like twenty, man. So, you know. And, you know, we haven't had one of these questions in a while, but we have had them quite a bit in the past that people ask a band, how did you get started or what's the key or who do you know? You, you have to love to do whatever it is you end up doing. You do it because you love to do it. And you, you, do, it. you do it for a long time and you do it for a lot of hours and you do it for free and you do it without any fanfare and uh, God willing, it works out. But I, I don't know what the answer could possibly be for, to that question other well, than do it. You wait, do it. Well, wait for your friends to learn how to play the guitar first. Basically, yeah. you just do it for the yeah. love of it, and if it happens, it happens, and if it doesn't, you have no regrets because you just do it for the love of it. That's period. right. Josh? Josh. Caller who goes by Josh. Yeah. Right. What's up? Um, first of all, I'd like to say, hey, the system of a down. Yeah. Hey. 
I went to the sanitarium tour at on the Coliseum on Saturday. Awesome. Uh, you guys were great. Which and Coliseum? The L.A. Coliseum. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't know they had stuff going on there anymore. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's right. it's, it's like breaking down. <laughs> wow. All right. <laughs> we'll do That's it. a nice venue. What's up, Josh? Better. Um, I had a question about uh, for System of the Down also. Uh, you guys... Someone played for uh, one song for Metallica because he had to sit out for one song. Um, that would be me. Yeah, okay, that was you Saturday night? Okay, you did a good job, man. Thank you. Um, and how did he injure his back, you know? I think he was, he was wakeboarding. Yeah. Which is, uh, if you're familiar with it, it's kind of like, not really like water skiing, but similar. Okay. What was that? <laughs> I think it was that Hatfield hurting his back. <laughs> yeah, so... It, luckily, oh, that just sounds bad. It always hurts my teeth. Man. Sounds like a dentist. <laughs> yeah, all right. Hey, Josh, I'm going to hang up on you, all right? Um, okay. <laughs> Listen, here's what the problem is. There's a lot of uh, System of a Down fans tonight. And uh, this is a big, sorry, big compliment man. to you guys because we have bands sitting here all night. No one says anything to them the whole night. We answer a bunch of questions. Everyone calls in, and here's why these calls are taking so long. Everyone wants to talk to the band for a while and then get to their questions. And if you want to call in and talk to the band, that's fine, but we're not going to get to your question, too. So it's one or the other. What do you say? All right, here we go. Liz. Uh, yeah, hi there. You're 25. What's up? Uh, yeah, okay. Um, well, let's see. I have a pretty uh, simple question, straightforward. Um, let's see. I have a boyfriend. We've been dating for about a year and a half, and um, we're doing the long distance thing right now. And uh, is it technically cheating if I make out with other girls? Because you're, you're 25, you're not 14. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean. Yeah, but I mean, like, technically, just, just, what do you guys say? Te technically, any, any intimate contact with another human, well, it's another okay. mammal, another mammal is, is cheating. Another mammal? What are you doing with these women? What do you mean making out? Yeah, just like making out, you know. Just like what? Kissing? Yeah. That's it? Mm -hmm. what's, in, what's in it for you? Just a kiss? Chaos. Um, I don't know, just, I don't know, something to do, drunk. You like the attention? Chaos. Yeah, I guess so. I'm, you know, kind of lonely. You know? What's the long distance situation? Long distance situation. Uh, he's about two and a half hours away. And Why? It's and he's incarcerated. Incarcerated. Oh really? Oh yeah. So oh, I'm almost single. My husband's on death row. When is you know what movie that's from? Call in now. When is he getting out? When's he getting out? Uh, maybe like another year or so. What do he do? What do he do? Oh, um, uh, arm robbery. Really? Yeah. Wow, you're a real winner, Liz. What's up with you? Are you you fat? No. Oh gosh, no. No. No, no, no. So what do you? You're what, fat. Thank you, Drew. Why, why are you hanging around with this guy? I get told no. What? Why are you hanging out with this guy? Well, you know, I mean, he's actually a really cool person. I think you know. No, he's an arm robber. Yeah, he is. Yeah, Drew, don't rush the judgment. You're overweight. And uh, what do you, do you get? Conjugal visits with the guy? No, no. Um, the state we live in won't allow things like that. Good. Where is, is that, that state? I'd like to move there. <laughs> Utah? Where is it? Uh, Wisconsin. Good. I love that Wisconsin now. It's my, new, it's my number one state. That and Armenia. Is that a state, Drew? Right? <laughs> state of mind. All right. Hey, Liz? Yeah. You know, so you're pretty screwed up, right? Yes. You're a mess. Yes. What's up with you? Okay, so technically it's a cheating, you say yes. Oh, who cares? Well, your boyfriend's probably yeah, he's kissing, kissing guys right, right now, right so now. it doesn't really matter. <laughs> do what you want to do. He just blew this black dude to get a pack of cigarettes. <laughs> no, he blew a black dude. That, that should, should make you feel better. That's right. That should make you feel a lot better. What, excuse me? Liz. <laughs> okay, Liz. Your boyfriend's got his hands around his ankles right now. Don't worry about it. Go make out with whoever you want. Don't you ever get, <gasps> don't you ever get pregnant, you hear me? Do you have any kids? No, no, no. Uh, Good. Liz, you got up in our Good. Go lesbian. Go all the way. All right? Okay, great. And where do you work? What? Some place that uh, has a snack bar nearby. What kind of work do you do? Um, I'm a waitress. I smell food on you. All right, baby. What kind of restaurant? Italian restaurant. Okay. But uh, all the people there in, I in uh, where are you, Idaho? Wisconsin. Wisconsin. They, say, they call it Italian food, right? Where, where, <laughs> where, where in Wisconsin? The Black Knight. Uh, Italian. Where in Wisconsin are you? 
Madison. Madison. Yeah. That's the one city we didn't go to. Right. Yeah, where there was sort of those French fries with mayonnaise. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, uh, it's gonna... is that France or Wisconsin? Yeah, in in. Uh... Yeah, I'm sure she works at a fine Italian place yeah. where you can get some lasagna with a nice side of mayonnaise. <laughs> the Black Knight. All right, hey Liz, don't listen. Everyone, do, do not date the incarcerated. It sends a bad message to those of us who are on the outside who can't get laid. This is Deja you know what I mean? We've done this before. We will uh, take ourselves a little break. System of Down is with us, and we'll be back after this. <laughs> Yeah. I'm Adam Cross, Dr. Drew, John and Darren are both here from System of a Down. System of a Down is also the name of the CD that we're going to hear something on or off of, actually, after uh, this next call. We're just talking to John about his uh, 30,000 comics he has. So wow. That's a, that's a lot of a lot of, comics. a lot of reading. So you're going to the convention tomorrow? Yeah, it's San Diego Comic Book. Are you going to buy, uh, you gonna buy some stuff? I expect to. What's the um, most you'll pay for something? Depends on what it is. I paid a couple of grand for a book. Really? Like yeah. what? what was it? Um, it was a Batman four. No, how ago. long ago did you buy it? About two years ago. Do you think it's worth more now? I sold it already. Oh, you did? Yeah. Did you make more? Yeah. I used to sell comic books also. That was like what I did to make money. Wow. When we were struggling. Yeah. You know, I'm, um, I, uh, you know, I was just looking at some like uh, sports memorabilia, jerseys and uh, baseballs and stuff, and uh, I just said to whoever's next to me, I'm so glad I'm not into that, because otherwise I'd be really, I'd spend thirty five hundred bucks on that baseball or you something. Have, that's me. Nuts. Yeah. I buy every jersey of every team. In They're not cheap, man. It's like two hundred. I'm gonna buy a Sparks jersey just because I'm not anybody wearing Sparks now. jerseys. Gary. Gary. Yeah. You're twenty three. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, sorry for disturbing you, buddy. <laughs> What's going on? Not much. I done. Okay. What's up? I have a problem. Okay. A couple of weeks ago, uh, me and my friends went down to an after-hours club right here in L.A. And we, you know, we took ecstasy, whatever. We're partying. The party was on. We're dancing, whatever. Um, afterwards, one of my close friends came, comes up to me and. and and he gets all like emotional and he's talking to me and he tells me that he's gay and he tells me that he's had a crush on me. You're gay. What? Who? <laughs> I think that makes you gay. Yeah. You guys are tripping. I think that makes you gay. You're gay. How? Dog. How? <laughs> could you, I thought you could never get angry on ecstasy. Dizzo on the Dizzo. Dog. What? Hello? Darren, do you know who you're talking yeah, to? Yeah, we know who we're talking to. <laughs> who are we talking to? He's our friend Jack. And he's the gay guy. He's the one who told his friend he liked him. Oh, Jack, Jack is gay. <laughs> is this gay Jack? <laughs> it's gay Jack. Hey, Jack. Jack Hoffman? I've heard about you. Jiggity. Hey, John. Yeah. Are you going down tonight or what? You know this. All right, come come here after. You guys are going to San Diego to go uh, comic get, book. get a comic book. No, forget about the comic. <laughs> All right. I got to go, man. Later. All right. Bye bye. Thanks for calling, Jack. Hey, Jack. Lisa. <laughs> you heard it from Drew, and Drew's a doctor. When he calls you gay, you're gay. You're gay. Thank you. <laughs> Lisa. Yes. What's up? Um, I have a boyfriend. I've been with him for about two and a half years. Mm-hmm. And lately, I've been hearing stuff about him going around with another girl named Kira. Yeah. And I just wanted to know, should I confront him? Yeah, and then dump him. Who have you been hearing this from? Um, my best friend that introduced me to him, her name's Heather Swanson. Oh, thank you. What's oh. her middle name? I'm going to write that. Her address again, phone yeah. number. <laughs> We'd like to send her out a windbreaker. <laughs> she gets a free system of a down windbreaker. Real, this is how we tell what a call is bogus, Lisa, by the way. Yeah, when they work uh, the entire name oh. into, the, into the call. <laughs> windbreaker. Christian? Yeah. You're 27? Yeah. Please tell us you have a problem. Uh, well, actually, I don't. I just wanted to tell John that he that <laughs> it is it is their fault. It's just sort of down. I do blame the band yeah. at this point. Uh, yeah, John, it's me, Chris. Remember me? Uh, remember Louis, Paula? Oh yeah, what's up, man? You guys walk. I just want to let you guys know. And you can call me off the air though, dude. <laughs> cool, man. Yeah, let me let me just put this message down. Any friends or family members of System of Down and want to speak to them, feel free to ring them up at home <laughs> during the uh, other 22 hours of the day when they're not in here. 
and 364 days of the year. I apologize to the people with real problems right now. All right, well, we're going to... Not that I don't love and want to talk to my friends, but this we're, is not the right time. We're going to get to one right now. Now, you you guys... Even listen, Gay Jack. We can't blame you for being so popular. Right? We're going to play song. And, that's right, and you're 28. Um, What's up? First, I wanted to tell you that in 1989, I was living in Santa Monica, and I was 17 and pregnant, and I was listening to your show, and um, something was very funny, and I thought I wet myself, and um, I actually went into labor while listening to your show. Oh my God. All right. And, um, I just think that I gave the child up for adoption. Oh, yeah. That's I awesome. really wish that more girls that called you would... Seriously, seriously consider that as an option. I wish we as a society would take people like you and give you medals and uh, oh, trade put I mean, this is screwed up and as irresponsible and flaky as every other 17-year-old girl. But, but you wow. you had the, the wherewithal to make a choice that was on the best interest of the child. I'm, I'm still waiting for her to yell a system of a down rule. <laughs> hey, it's me. You know, remember us? Damn. Do we know you? I think that I'm too old because I used to think that I was so on the cutting edge of um, alternative music, and I've never even heard of the guys. Oh, yeah. how dare you. All right. I know. We don't blame you. All right. So do you have a question? I, I do. Um, I'm now 28, and I have a three-year-old son who has an autistic spectrum disorder. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And um, he is taking three different medications. He's very, very violent. And he's taking three different medications. And I'm wondering, is this a lifelong thing? I mean, is he going to be a violent teenager and adult? And does what's uh, what's I, I know what autism is, but what's the spectrum part? Well, it it just means that they've widened the spectrum of different disorders yeah. that fit in right. that category. They sort of have the sort of minimal brain syndromes. This sort right. Of. He's he's pretty high functioning. Yeah. If you saw him, you might just think that he was very very hyperactive and very poorly behaved. And, and in fact, as kids get older, sometimes their their actual diagnosis clarifies or presents itself. Right. So a child that might have been called. Autistic spectrum might have entirely, it might be bipolar or ADD when they're 18. Or, or sometimes it just gets downgraded to doofus. <laughs> but, it? but, and the point is that it That's does change. to me, I remember. It, it does change as they grow. And it, in my experience, and I'm certainly no expert in this area, it's difficult to predict what they're going to grow into. Um, now he is. Hey, but, uh, A. Ann? Yeah. If he still is displaying violent tendencies by 13, you got to put him down. Mm -hmm. For the good of society. We have you know what I'm saying. And he. It tries his best to terminate our little one-year-old. What? He, I mean, it's horrible. We have a one-year-old son also, and he does horrible things for him. He tries to gouge on his eyes. Whoa. Perfectly normal, perfectly healthy. Um, You're going to have to teach that one-year-old to fend for himself. Well, I'm, he's getting there. He's getting there. But really? I mean, I'm just kidding. To stay be physically between them. You know, 24 hours a day. Wow. And my older son is taking clonidine, Risperdal, and Ritalin. Well, are, is this the older? That's a lot of medication for children. This is the three-year-old? <laughs> I see. So you only have two, two boys? Yeah, two little boys. Oh, boy. Are those medications, Drew, that are lifelong? They will change. They will change. Yeah, they will change. So, uh, so but, but a, he's getting medicine his whole life. That's a pretty, sure. pretty freaky situation that he's trying to attack your one-year-old. It's horrible. It's horrible, you know, and I gave up this child 10 years ago for adoption. I thought, I'm doing the right thing. I'm going to wait till, you know, things are perfect to have a child, and I'll be a great parent. And now, you know, yeah. you know situation, and it's just pretty disheartening. And the psychiatrists and millions of specialists don't want to give any, they won't tell me anything long term. They, they can't. They can't. What do they, they don't know. These things are very hard to predict. But those medicines will change. The, uh, the medicine, the psychiatric medicines, almost always change across a lifetime. Do you have? And, a, is there a man around there? Yeah, I have a husband. We've been married for five years. Good. You need a guy around there, yeah. and you, you got to keep that one-year-old up on the uh, top shelf so uh, the three-year-old doesn't get to him. Yeah, he's it's it's scary. He actually he stabbed me. He's like Chucky, that kid of yours. <laughs> That's what I'm picturing. Are you guys picturing Chucky? Well, there. He's the sweetest little boy you've ever seen. Oh, yeah, he yeah. sounds like it. Except when he's got a switchblade. <laughs> no, I was making dinner, and he's incredibly fast. And he. With a knife? Yeah. Did he have any. Oh, throwing knives. Did... <laughs> really, you need a priest. Anything happened to him in early, early uh, in his infancy? Was he away from you for a long period of time or anything? He, no, he, I can't 
No, he came out of me screaming and never stopped, so I couldn't find a babysitter for him. We have 666. Well, why do you need a babysitter if you're with him all the time? No, I mean, like, even to go on a date with my husband. I see. All right. I would leave him with his grandparents, and, and you know, they'd, have, they'd call me. He won't stop screaming. He won't stop screaming. Oh, boy. All right. Hey, Anne, my heart goes out. Sounds yeah. like the omen from Damien. Yeah, yeah, you got Something your, unholy you got your, evil. You got your hands full, honey. Thanks. You need yeah. to call the Black Knight. <laughs> She's not going to come on. Yeah. I'm wondering if, if Drew had any idea about those medications. Cause well, there, it's an interesting combination. It's, it's a very aggressive combination. We've got a three-year-old. Risperidol is, an, is a major tranquilizer. Well, I guess they're trying to slow him down a little. Yeah, Redlin is for ADD, typically. and uh, Get him a drum set. And, and, and uh, yeah, get him activities. And Girl, I don't know much about rearing kids, but uh, stabbing mom in the thigh, is that a timeout? She's going to need, she's gonna need <laughs> a lot of aggressive behavior management. She's going to need pharmacotherapy, and it's going to be a lifelong oh, proposition. Buddy. And, and listen, I... I really, I, I really mean this is is for for society at large. You need to hobble that kid so he can't move so fast or something because this kid's going to be eleven. He's going to kill your kid. You yeah. know what I mean? I mean, I you know I'm into this Dar more into Darwinism than I am into a human beings. I, I really am. I mean, I think if you got somebody and you know this person is violent and you know there's potential for trouble and it's almost just sort of a matter of time before something happens like to him, ball. you can't let him out of the house. I mean, you can't let him in with the uh, with the other with the herd, so to speak. All right, we will uh, take ourselves a break. Because we're gonna hear a song, aren't we? I know, but now, I think we're we're running uh, late now. We ran. A, I, I talked to that. Uh, that you know, she was so provocative. No, we play the song right now. Oh, wait, play it now. There you go. All right, we'll play it, and then we'll just go on a break after that. What do you say? All right, we're gonna hear uh, suggestions from System of a Down. Yeah. <laughs> System of a Down for you. We're just talking about how horrible it is uh, growing old. Not having those uh, flexible bones anymore and how painful life can be. Uh -huh. All right, we're going to take a little break and uh, we'll be back after this. Yeah. It is Loveline. I'm Adam Carolla. He is Dr. Drew. Phone number. Oh, forget about that phone number. Let's uh, hop back uh, on the phones. Uh, John and Darren are both here from System of a Down, and we'll really see if we can get through some calls now. Adrian? Yes. You're 20. Yes. You heard Paxil decreases your sex drive. Yeah. Do you take Paxil? Yeah, I've been on it for like four and a half years. And has it decreased your sex drive? <laughs> yes. Oh, it shuts it down. Yeah. You ain't got no sex drive. Well, I wasn't having sex four years ago. So. No, but now, it's particularly for women, the serotonin reptic inhibitors, it makes sex seem like like uh, weird. Like I can't even understand it if you're so far away from it. Oftentimes. Yeah, and because I'm in a long distance relationship, every time he comes out here, that's <laughs> he's excited to see me. So. Sure. Can he get off? Can you get off Paxil for a week when he comes out there, just for a uh, good reaming? I, I have tried getting off of it, and it's really something that. You can't stop it suddenly. That's for sure. You'll have a withdrawal. I do, and I, I really go bonkers when I'm off of it. Yeah, well, you got to come off it slowly if you are going to come off it. But yeah. are you having any trouble with orgasm function also? Um, Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Yes, yeah. that's Paxil. Well, can she get some of that Wellbutrin or something? Yeah, you can add you can add Wellbutrin. You can switch to Wellbutrin. Some people are using, even using Viagra for women. Yeah, I was about to say. Remeron is another I thought they did a test. Arizona. Arizona. Okay, here's the deal, and it's kind of ironic. I always want to say to these women, listen, you love this guy. He's a great guy, right? Right. He, you haven't seen him for three months because he lives in Chicago, right? But just hold still. Let him, let him, you know, get his rocks off a little. And they can't do it. And I thought to myself, women are much more equipped to, to be able to sort of sleepwalk through sex Physically, but emotionally, yeah. they won't do it. Impossible. Men can sleepwalk through sex emotionally, but physically, yeah. obviously, yeah. if it ain't happening, it ain't happening. That's interesting. And if you put a if you put a, a, a man's brain into a woman's body who wasn't interested in sex, Nobody he'd be knows. like, listen, I'm going to get in my back, and I'm just going to hold still. And listen, you can even say to the guy, I ain't too into this. You don't mind if I watch old TV or something. You know, you do, do me doggy, I'll face the set. Tell it, go as fast as you want, <laughs> whatever it takes. You want to put a porn in? Is that going to shave a few minutes off it? And most guys be like, "Hang, go until friends over." Most guys be like, "This is the greatest woman in the world. <laughs> I love this woman to death." But women can't do it, 
and yet they can so easily. And it's always that's what I always say to them. Just like, hold still, let the guy jump on you for a few minutes. All right, Devin. Yeah. You're uh, you're you're 13. Yeah. What's up? Um, well, I masturbate. Yeah. Um, I get all depressed for some reason. Well, that's like Adam. Yeah, I get disgusted with myself and announce never again. And then 15 minutes later, I'm like, well, maybe once. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's it. I, uh, I, you know how uh, the Pavlovian dogs would salivate when they heard the bell? Uh, My penis starts to drip when I hear the Taboo 2 theme song. Three notes. Are you, <laughs> are you, are you religious, chap, Devin? Uh, not really. Did somebody tell you this is a bad thing? No. All right. Well, it doesn't get over. Like shame. They, yeah. feel not, they feel sort of like, men often feel like they uh, should be able to do something more productive with that energy. Right. Like, like oh, what am I doing? Well, also, when you're 13, it might take you a little bit longer. Yeah. Does it take you a while? Yeah, a little while. What are you good for? How many times a day? Uh, two or three. Oh, okay. Well, and each time you get disgusted and depressed. Yeah. That's another thing that's funny about guys, too. Guys are like, I get an excruciating pain <laughs> in the in my side whenever I masturbate. It feels like someone took a rusty sprinkler key and actually pierced my liver with it. How many times do you masturbate? Well, four times a day. <laughs> <laughs> that's the beauty of guys. If, if a woman experienced pain or humiliation or whatever, she'd, she'd do it once and it'd be like, that's it. not for me. Guys, like, yeah, I get, I get, uh, I get suicidal after I match me. How many times? About three times a day. <laughs> wow, it's a lot of killing yourself. Isn't it? Listen, you'll, you, you'll push through. There's this, there's you'll this thing. Through. Well, you know, here's, here's what you'll it is. Push through it. Well, well here, and I think most guys can, can identify with this. They start masturbating, especially if they start at like 13, a relatively young age. They feel a little weird about it. It feels a little dirty. Feels a little strange. Right, and they Basically, you don't in, you mean you don't let yourself enjoy it, even though you're compelled to do it. But then you get to a certain point where you just go, "F it, I'm in. This is a way of life. <laughs> Screw it." You mean you know what I mean? And you'll get to that point very soon. Don't worry, Stacy. Yes. Yeah? You're 15. What's up? Well, my friend, she's like got a problem. She lets her dog like lick her out, and I don't know if it's bad for her. And I want her to stop. I don't know how to get her to stop. Uh, I don't know that it's, there's no medical issue with it, at least, to speak of. I heard that, like, dogs kind of feel like the worst thing because they have so much diseases and stuff. Is that, like, going to hurt her? I, I always know. hear that dogs' mouths are yeah. cleaner than humans, so that always yeah. sounds ridiculous yeah. to me. A lot more. A lot more clean. A lot cleaner, yeah. a dog's mouth. Yeah. Why is that? That's just what grows in there. I mean, a cat, cat's mouth is, is the bad one. Ah, yeah, and but cat that, plants are bad. That, that'll pull your clit right off on those cat's <laughs> tongues. I'll tell you firsthand. It's like uh, rubbing 60 grit sandpaper against that area. No, no. <laughs> it's hard to stick with Rover. Yeah. Unless you rub a lot of coke on it. Like, oh, well, anyway. Stacy? How do I get her to stop? Well, in my experience, people that do that kind of behavior got some pretty heavy stuff going on, usually emotionally. What's going on with her? She was raped by a raccoon when yeah, she was four. Something like that. She was raped, but not by a raccoon. By she was, home. yeah. By whom? Who? Huh? Who raped her? Uh, some Mexican guy came up to her. Well, no, no, duh, but did she? she know the guy? How old was she? Right now? How old was she when uh, that happened? Oh, she was like 13. Or and what happened to her before that? Anything? Mm-mm. Okay. Uh, I bet it did. Hey, I Stacy, bet. this is a friend of yours, right? Yeah. All right. Why don't you tell her that you think she should get some help, not for the dog, but for the raid? Okay? And but other than that... If your friends are going down a weird dog-looking path and you're not into it or you don't approve of it, then break it off. Everyone, listen, it's good to be good to your friends, but if they're doing stuff that you ain't into, whether they're racist or they're drug addicts or whatever it is, they're worshiping Satan, whatever it is that they're into, you should voice your opinion. But after that... You go the other direction. It's interesting. People that get involved with animals like this very often are sort of traumatized or abandoned early in childhood. So relating to a, an animal, the same as a human. Human, They don't really acknowledge the existence of other people the same way that normal people do. Right. And uh, animal, person, same kind of contact. Uh, animals less hassle. That's I, certain I, shows you can participate in south of the border. Uh, oh, yes. I, I like, uh, by the way, I, I like the people who get really outraged about the dog. 
You know what I mean? They're like, that dog, that you know, that dog's being abused, he's being exploited. That dog had his, uh, he was uh, knee deep in another dog's ass last time he was at a park. <laughs> Do you really think he cares? Listen, I wish I could get hold of a little 15-year-old. You know, you know what I'm saying? Please. 15 will get well, you money. I beg your pardon. You know what I'm get saying? Money. I'm saying dogs, e e they eat meat byproducts and sniff ass for a living. You, you know what I'm saying? They eat crap. And lick, uh, eat feces and lick ball. That's what they do. So a little 15-year-old, that's a, that's a nice step up for a dog. It really is. Compared to the normal dog regiment, little 15-year-old, uh, that's, that's, a, that's a step in the right direction. we got a break. We do? Yeah. Is it that time? Yeah. All right. We're going to do that. We'll be back with the System of a Down and you to wrap up after this. All right. Drew, we're going to go get a shawarma place. Right now. And some uh, some hummus and a some nice, Lulu nice yogurt soda to wash <laughs> it down with. Uh, that is it for the show. I want to thank uh, Danielle for doing a great job at answering the phones and uh, making everything happen around here. Uh, producer Ann for uh, putting her feminine stink on this show. And, of course, uh, Engineer Anderson for uh, sliding those uh, potentiometers at all the right times and pushing the buttons with the applause. Thank you. I want to thank Darren and John for coming in here from System of Down. Always uh, a good time going out and uh, get the System of Down CD. Uh, look for the uh, new CD coming out in a while. <laughs> Actually, well, wait, wait for the new wait CD. For it. <laughs> They'll be on here plugging it. Thanks, guys. We appreciate it. Thanks for having us. Thank and until next time, this is Adam Crow for Dr. Drew saying mahalo. You don't mind if I eat while I'm thumbing you, do you? This has been Love Line.